Hi, we're the Rothwells and we're a full-time traveling family from Hawaii. Together we've been to more than 50 countries and hundreds of cities around the world. We love making travel guides of our favorite places to help other families eat, see, and do it all while creating lasting memories together. It's a big, beautiful world out there, so let's do this. In this video, we get to show you around our hometown of Sydney, Australia. As Australia's largest city, it offers endless adventure for every type of traveler. From its iconic landmarks to its rich history and the delicious fusion of cuisine you'll find throughout, you'll see why it's so easy to fall in love with this city. We may have left Sydney eight years ago, but it still holds a special place in our heart, and we are regularly flying back to visit friends and family. Here's our top 10 things to do when visiting Sydney, Australia. Everyone's first stop on their Sydney adventure should be the globally renowned Sydney Opera House. This iconic architectural masterpiece is not only a symbol of Sydney, but also a UNESCO World Heritage Site. The story behind its creation is as intriguing as its distinctive design. Danish architect Jørn Utzon won an international design competition in 1957, and construction began in 1959. However, the project faced numerous challenges, including technical complexities and budget overruns. It took 14 long years to complete, finally opening its doors in 1973. The design, often compared to a series of sails or shells, was a groundbreaking departure from traditional architecture. It has since become an enduring symbol of creativity and innovation. Today, the Sydney Opera House hosts a diverse range of performances, from classical music to contemporary theater. You can delve into its fascinating history through guided tours, which provide insight into its architectural marvel and the stories behind its construction. When it comes to great food around the Opera House, you'll find endless options. To experience a classic Australian taste, don't miss trying a meat pie at one of the nearby cafes or bakeries. The savory combination of tender meat encased in flaky pastry is a beloved Australian comfort food. Standing majestically next to the Opera House, we have the Sydney Harbour Bridge. This bridge is an engineering marvel that holds a significant place in Sydney's history. The idea for such a bridge was conceived as early as the 1800s, but it wasn't until the early 1920s, during the Great Depression, that construction finally began. The bridge officially opened on March 19, 1932, and it's been an integral part of Sydney's skyline ever since. The Sydney Harbour Bridge offers several ways to experience its grandeur. You can embark on a leisurely stroll or bike ride across its vast expanse, soaking in breathtaking views of the harbour and cityscape. But for the ultimate thrill, consider doing the bridge climb and going over the top. Scaling the bridge's arches offers a once-in-a-lifetime experience and an adrenaline rush like no other. Next, let's meander through the historic cobblestone streets of The Rocks, a district that breathes life into Sydney's past. This area's history is as rich as it is captivating. In the late 18th century, The Rocks was the site of the first European settlement in Australia. It was a place of convicts, sailors, and entrepreneurs, shaping Sydney's early days. As you explore The Rocks markets, artisan shops, and preserved historic buildings, you'll feel transported back in time. The Australian Heritage Hotel, for instance, is a pub that dates back to the early 19th century. Its historic charm and hearty Australian fare make it a must visit. While you're here, don't miss the opportunity to savor some fresh Sydney rock oysters. These briny delights are best enjoyed with a squeeze of lemon, offering a taste of the sea's bounty that has been cherished for generations. No visit to Sydney is complete without a day at the beach, and the most popular has got to be Bondi Beach. This iconic stretch of sand embodies the spirit of Australian beach culture. Bondi is an Aboriginal word that means water breaking over rocks, and this beach, with its powerful waves and golden sands, is a true testament to that name. Bondi Beach became popular in the early 20th century, 
and has since become an integral part of Australian beach culture. The surf culture here is infectious, and it's no wonder that Bondi is home to the world's first surf life-saving club. If you're feeling adventurous, take a surfing lesson, or simply watch the seasoned surfers ride the waves. We were from the other side of Sydney, and our local beach, Manly, is another great alternative. Jump on the ferry from the city and enjoy the laid-back Northern Beaches lifestyle. You'll find plenty of great food options in Manly Corso. Check out Benbury for one of our favorite burgers. Up next, we're off to Taronga Zoo, a place where conservation, education, and wildlife come together in perfect harmony. The zoo, which first opened its doors in 1916, holds a special place in the hearts of Sydney Siders. Its breathtaking location offers panoramic views of Sydney Harbour, providing both a visual and educational treat. As you explore Taronga Zoo, you'll encounter more than 4,000 animals from around the world. However, it's the Australian wildlife exhibit that truly captures the essence of the country's unique fauna. Here you can get up close and personal with kangaroos, koalas, and wombats, among other native species. The zoo has been at the forefront of conservation efforts aiming to protect and preserve endangered species. Our tip is to walk down and take the cable car back up. It's quite an incline, so taking the gondola will give your feet a well-deserved rest. For a deep dive into Sydney's cultural tapestry, we're visiting the Art Gallery of New South Wales. This renowned institution, founded in 1871, boasts an impressive collection of Australian and international art. Stepping into this gallery is like stepping into a treasure trove of creativity and expression. The history of the gallery is intertwined with the growth of Sydney as a cultural hub. It played a pivotal role in nurturing and promoting Australian art, making it an essential part of the country's cultural heritage. The gallery's collection includes works by renowned Australian artists such as Sidney Nolan and Arthur Streeton, as well as international masterpieces from the likes of Vincent van Gogh and Pablo Picasso. After immersing yourself in the world of art, take a moment to recharge with a lamington. This beloved Australian desert consists of a light sponge cake covered in chocolate icing and desiccated coconut. It's the perfect sweet treat and can be found at most bakeries. As the sun begins to set, we're heading to Darling Harbour, a vibrant waterfront precinct that offers entertainment galore. Here, you'll find attractions like Sydney's Sea Life Aquarium, Madame Tussauds, and the Australian National Maritime Museum. It's a place where science, culture, and history converge, offering a diverse range of experiences for all ages. The Australian National Maritime Museum, for instance, provides a captivating glimpse into Australia's maritime history. You can explore ships, submarines, and maritime artifacts that tell the story of the nation's relationship with the sea. Darling Harbour also serves as a departure point for harbour cruises, which allow you to witness Sydney's iconic landmarks from the water. For a peaceful escape from the urban hustle and bustle, check out the Royal Botanic Garden. Established in 1816, these lush gardens provide a tranquil oasis in the heart of Sydney. But the gardens are not just a pretty backdrop. They have played a vital role in botanical research and preservation. The history of the Royal Botanic Garden is intertwined with the history of European settlement in Australia. Plants collected by Sir Joseph Banks during Captain Cook's voyage found a home here, contributing to the scientific understanding of Australian flora. As you meander through the meticulously landscaped gardens, you'll encounter a vast array of native and exotic plants from vibrant orchids to towering palm trees. Don't miss the chance to try some Tim Tam biscuits during your visit. These chocolate-coated delights have a cult following in Australia and are often enjoyed with a cup of tea during a relaxing picnic in the gardens. Our next stop takes us high above the city to the Sydney Tower Eye, or to us who grew up there, Centerpoint Tower. Standing at a staggering 309 meters tall, this iconic structure offers a bird's eye view of Sydney that's nothing short of breathtaking. 
The tower, completed in 1981, has become an integral part of Sydney's skyline. As you ascend to the observation deck, you'll be treated to 360 degree views of the city, the harbor, and beyond. The sight of Sydney's landmarks, bathed in the golden hues of the setting sun, is a sight to behold. The tower's glass floor viewing platform adds an extra layer of excitement for the daring. No trip to Australia is complete without trying a Vegemite sandwich. Vegemite is a yeast extract spread and is an Australian breakfast staple. It has a distinct, savory flavor that's an acquired taste for many. Sampling this quintessential Australian spread is an essential part of immersing yourself in the local culture. Don't be sad if you don't like it. We think you probably have to grow up on it to appreciate it. For our final stop, we're delving into the rich tapestry of Australia's natural and cultural history at the Australian Museum. Founded in 1827, it proudly holds the title of the oldest museum in Australia. The museum's story is intertwined with the nation's quest to document and preserve its unique flora, fauna, and indigenous cultures. As you step inside, you'll embark on a journey through time and space the museum's diverse exhibits cover everything from Aboriginal culture and art to prehistoric dinosaurs and Australia's unique wildlife. It's a place where science, history, and art converge to tell the captivating story of this vast continent. The indigenous art and artifacts on display offer a deep insight into the cultures that have thrived in Australia for thousands of years. Our top 10 list is really the tourist highlight reel, and as iconic as these places are, we want to share a couple of secret spots we think you'll love. In the north, check out Palm Beach and hike up to the lighthouse. It's an easy paved hike and great for the whole family with amazing views down the entire coastline. For a great breakfast, head to the grounds of Alexandria. This massive entertainment complex is constantly holding special events and is an Instagrammer's paradise. For a memorable day trip, drive out to the Blue Mountains and check out the Three Sisters at Katoomba. You'll love your time in the Australian bush. For great Asian food, you've got Chinatown in the city or jump on the train and head to Chatswood. Chatswood is where we always stay when we return to Sydney, and the good food options are endless. Well, there you have it, the ultimate Sydney travel guide. Sydney is a city of diverse experiences, where history, culture, and natural beauty converge. From the Opera House to Bondi Beach, there's no shortage of things to see and do. And of course, the culinary delights are a feast for the senses. Whether you're planning your visit or simply exploring from afar, may your travels be filled with wonder, discovery, and unforgettable moments. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you got some value out of it, please give us a thumbs up or let us know in the comments below, and we'll see you in the next Family Travel Guide.